Good morning. Oh, I look awful. It is a little after four. Um, last night I watched my yoga video from last time. I went a couple years ago just to see like what time I got up and everything and decided to stick with that. I think we're supposed to be there a little earlier this year than then, but you know what? It is what it is. Um, I believe it said, I probably should have read it again before watching the video. Um, I believe it said, just walk through a spider web, that we had to be there anywhere from four to five. Um, and it doesn't take me long to get there. So, I'm not too worried about it. I've got my waiver. I've got a jacket that I most likely will not need because it's very humid outside. I have a Starbucks Refresher Passion Fruit drink that has green tea in it. Um, and I also brought orange slices that I meant to eat yesterday that didn't end up happening um, for breakfast. So, let's go. So I parked in six, row six. I remembered last year that I completely forgot where I parked, or oh, last time, not last year. Um, I'm really like sleepy. I'm not really tired as much as I am sleepy. Um, one thing that's really cool is last time I had an eight hour shift, but I worked like opening. So I think I worked like nine to five-ish. Now I have a short, beautiful six hour shift that doesn't even start till 2.30 and gets out at eight. So I have time to go home and sleep after this. Um, also, last time I brought a banana for breakfast. Forgot to bring a banana this time, so I brought orange slices instead. Realizing a banana is a lot more portable than orange slices because my hands are full. <laughs> oh, also I'm dressed up. And my Elsa get up. This is what I would have worn for my half marathon if it wasn't cold. Oh, I should have worn earrings. Oh well. Um, also, I didn't bring a yoga mat because supposedly they're providing those. Um, they gave us the yoga mats last time. Uh, and they're spacing them out for us. So that's really cool. Also, there's a lot more people coming in than I remembered last time. Um, and if you're a cast member who worked this day, this morning, couldn't get the day off, couldn't get the time off, or you're one of the very few transportation cast members who had to work, thank you. And I did bring a face covering just in case I need it, just throwing that out there. Let's go to the boat. always go upstairs. Been sitting on the boat for more than a couple minutes now. We've already started loading the boat next to us. And the water is making me sleepy. So now I want to go to sleep. Finally moving. I think it was like 15 minutes. o'clock now. We're still not inside. Um, they're turning on all the lights, I guess. Magic Kingdom. The train looks meh because they're working on it, so I'm not going to show you the train. Nice 
turn all the lights on. Looks like they gave us yoga mats, water. Oh my gosh, I'm so much closer this time. So last time I was right here. I was right over there last time in this little corner. I get to be so much closer. Oh, there's more space over here. Last time they gave us really cool Be Well Disney mats. Not anymore, but look where I am. All right, so they've got camera crews all over, I think because they're streaming this live. For those who couldn't make it, there's a ton back that way. But I'm loving how spaced out these are because last time we were like, right up next to each other for space reasons. So I'm thoroughly enjoying this spaced out vibe. I should have brought my tripod. Oh look, there's another camera crew guy. In your face. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be great. Look how close I am. I'm so close. So cool. Use this time to prepare your mind and your body for the upcoming day. Once you arrive at your mat, please do not move that mat, as they have been set up per our physical distancing guidelines. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm just going to sit here and fall asleep. Apparently, this doesn't start for like another 20 minutes. It's 5.15, and Danny's been up for almost an hour and a half now. Danny's very sleepy. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Be Well 2021 Yoga at the Magic Kingdom Park. Oh, wow. Thank you. You know, this uh, exclusive cast member Be Well event was created exclusively for magic makers like you. I'm Mark Daniel, and I'm delighted to be hosting this event once again. I'm just happy to be here. <laughs> and isn't it amazing to be here at Cinderella Castle before the park opens? Yeah? Let's just let that soak in for a moment. Yeah. You can feel the magic beginning to sparkle already. And that's a great reminder. Be sure to use this time to relax, savor the peace, and enjoy the magic of being in the moment with your fellow cast members. Now, as you all know, today is International Yoga Day, a day when the world comes together to celebrate the mindful practice of yoga. And this year, we are very thankful to be able to practice yoga here at the Magic Kingdom Park. Yes. Now, this is a place that truly supports our goal. It's where mindfulness meets magic. And being mindful allows us to be more open and aware of everything around us and inside us as well. It's like some of our favorite Disney heroes. When we take the time to reflect and reach deep inside to find the power and strength that's already in us, that's when we realize that the magic has been there all along. Now, as we mentioned, International Yoga Day is celebrated around the world and more specifically, our world. Our partners across the Walt Disney Company are joining in the celebration today. Later this morning, cast members at Disneyland will be enjoying their yoga celebration at Sleeping Beauty Castle. Our friends at Disney Cruise Line, Aulani, ESPN, Shanghai, Hong Kong, Paris, and many more are also joining in the celebration either virtually or in person. And speaking of virtually, we are excited that for the first time ever, all cast members, crew, Imagineers, and employees across the Walt Disney Company 
will be able to join together wherever they are to celebrate International Yoga Day as we stream for the first time in front of the Millennium Falcon at Star Wars Galaxy's Edge right here at Disney's Hollywood Studios. That's pretty cool. Now that live stream will begin at 8 a.m. and there will be playbacks if you miss it at 11, 3, and 6. So this is truly a big day. So let's take a moment for ourselves today here at the Magic Kingdom. And again, like I mentioned earlier, I invite you to feel the connection with others across our company, the globe, and even in the galaxy. We are all united today through the practice of yoga. Oh my goodness, it's the very godmother! Oh. Mindfulness makes magic. Oh, oh. Yes. Good morning, Sherry. Godmother. Hello, everybody. You know, we were just speaking of how, you know, you have to be open and mindfulness, you know, that those things oh. will clear your mind, being focused. Trust me, yeah. I know, I know. Now, my dears, the power of your dreams brought me here. Why, of course, your fairy godmother knows exactly what you need. Now, if only I could find my magic wand. <laughs> Where could it be? Oh, my darling, I have no idea. <laughs> There it is, <laughs> right here. <laughs> oh my gosh. Now, wait a minute, I. Oh, yes. Uh, for your journey, you will need oh, uh, oh, oh, a special. Uh, 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 no, no, uh, Fairy Godmother, we're not off to a ball or anything. We don't need a coach, we don't need horses, we don't need mice and things Heavens like that. Heavens no, my dear, of course not. Why, for your journey, you will need a special guide. Oh, yes, yes I got it, like a special teacher. Yes. Somebody to help us keep our mind, our body, and our spirit strong. Absolutely, naturally, but you're getting a little ahead of yourself. Okay. Why, first we need to say the magic words. Uh -huh. Ooh, okay, here we are. Are you ready, everybody? Yeah. Oh, I love that. They're awake and ready. All right, let's see here. <clears throat> Whenever you're ready, Mark. Uh, oh, oh, oh. I, I can't do everything for you. Oh, yes, sorry. <laughs> oh, oh, the magic words. The magic ah, words. yes, put them together. Yes. What do you get? All right, everyone, let's all say bibbity bobbity boo. Oh, that's good, Mark. Wow, the fairy godmother does her magic. All right, so you're going to repeat after me. Okay. Are you ready, everybody? We're ready. I said, are you ready? Yes. <laughs> I love these people. Yeah. All right, here we go. Okay, so ready and bibbity. 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 Bobbity. Bobbity. Boo. Boo. Oh, my. This uh, is wonderful. Oh. Uh, yeah, oh, uh, that was, that sounded good, but, uh, yes. <laughs> fair godmother. Yes. Yeah, nothing happened. Oh, I mean, my dear. Beep. You heard the tweet? Yeah, I saw. Oh, my dear, patience, my dear. Why, even miracles take a little time. Now enjoy yourself, everyone. Your special friends will be on their way. Ooh. Yes. Now, in the meantime, remember, my dears, the magic does not end at midnight. Oh no, it lives in your heart forever. Yes. Oh, it does, doesn't it? Isn't that beautiful? It is beautiful. Yes. All right. Well, toodaloo. I'm off. All yes, right. Thank you. Bibbidi bobbidi bye. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go stretch. Yes. All right. Here we go. Oh, there she goes. Here we go. Thank you so much, Fairy Godmother. Bye, oh my goodness. Woo, what a special surprise. I mean, we sit around the castle, so. Just throwing it out there. It's well, now 5.43 and instructors finally in swapped out. On, on behalf of Dana, myself, Tracy and Heather, Sky, and then exhale, pulling down the heavens. Again, breathing in. If you like, you can imagine a beam of white light coming down to the crown of your head. Let's do this one more time, body. And in a standing position, we'd like our feet to be about hip distance or shoulder distance apart. Let's roll our shoulders back and down, palms facing forward in the standing mountain pose. Trying to feel this nice alignment. Deep inhale, reaching your arms all the way up to the sky. And exhale, palms of your hands at heart center. Let's all take a step to the front of our mat as we move into sun salutations. Hoping to bring the sun up nice and early this morning to a nice beautiful day. Close your eyes and just feel your heartbeat before we now bring your hands to your feet. Inhale, step your right foot to the back of the mat, and then exhale, step your left foot to the back of the mat. Lift your hips up to the sky, press your chest towards your thighs, coming into downward facing dog. 
On your next inhalation, lower yourself down onto the mat, either through tabletop pillowcase. Slowly float your eyes open, interlace your back three fingers so that your thumb and pointer finger face the sky will move into temple and half moon pose. Inhale, extend your arms all the way up to the sky and exhale. Let's bend slightly to the left, coming into half moon pose. Inhale, coming back up to temple. Exhale, half moon to the right. Inhale to the back of the mat, coming into a nice wide stance. Bring your arms down by your sides, relax your shoulders down and away from your ears. Take a deep inhale and then as you exhale, bend your left knee sinking into warrior one and then extend your arms up by the side of your head. Elbows are nice and strong up by your ears. Shoulders are relaxed back and down. Take a deep inhale, and as you exhale, extend your arms forward toward the castle. We'll move into warrior two. So let's start with your right arm. Start to draw your right arm across your body, rotating your torso toward Tomorrowland, and then extend your right arm straight back behind you. Palms facing downward, and then gaze down your left fingertips toward the castle. Coming into a nice, strong warrior two. And exhale, shift your weight into your left leg. Rotate your right leg at the hip. The heel of your foot comes up against the inside of your left ankle, deciding to either stay here or to move a little bit deeper into tree pose, bringing your right foot a little bit further up the inside of your left leg. And if your tree feels strong and rooted today, extend your arms up above your head and grow your branches. Take a moment to find the ideal distance for you. Be mindful of how your knees feel. This is butterfly pose or cobbler's pose, and you can hold on to either your toes or your ankles, whatever's most comfortable, and just allow your knees to drop open. You might want to rock a little bit from side to side here, but don't force your knees down. Just allow them to be a chest pose. If you like, you can drift your knee a little bit from side to side, keeping the left leg engaged and firm into the mat. Your bent right knee comes in toward the chest, whatever distance works for you. Just release and relax, breathe deep here. Nourishing the lower back. Slowly float your eyes open, taking in the energy and the beautiful view of the world directly above you. Let's feel that energy moving through our entire body. Extend your arms straight up above your heads for the world behind you. Extend your feet straight down for the world in front of you. Giving your body that nice first thing in the morning stretch. Take a deep inhale and exhale. Bring your arms back down to your sides. Allow yourself to relax for just a moment more. Close our eyes and tune in to the sensations in our body. Bring your awareness to your heart center. And imagine or visualize a beautiful still pond or a tranquil mountain lake. And as you hear the following words, imagine a pebble dropping into that water, creating ripples that spread out from your heart center, that travel out through your mind and body and cascade out into the entire universe. Peace. Harmony. Laughter. Love. And as those ripples settle back into stillness and silence, let's bring our fingertips toward our forehead, taking a small silent bow in recognition of this yoga, this union of body, mind, and spirit that we have created and shared here together. Take a moment now to formulate an intention that you will hold on to this stillness, that you will carry it with you throughout your day. And we will now conclude our yoga class with the traditional Sanskrit salutation, Namaste, which means I honor and recognize the divinity in you, which is the same as the divinity in me. We are one. Namaste. Namaste. Have a beautiful day.
guess that's all the extra mats. Is that all the people who didn't show up? Interesting. This noise reminds me. Um, in the middle of the yoga session, there was a leaf blower either down Liberty Square or Adventureland that was going off that was super distracting. And then the cameraman talked practically the entire time. Um, so that was also distracting. Like there's a reason why I use headphones <laughs> when I do my yoga workouts, but it's fine. Bye Magic Kingdom! I'm a little more though awake than I expected. Um, because it was so humid, I think that I'm gonna like go home and take a shower, maybe have some toast and then go back to sleep. Cause I don't have to be at work until 2.30. Um, it is almost seven o'clock. Just keeping that in mind. <laughs> Good morning. 